This is the second swarm of the year. You see them all in there. Shoot, I must have hit the button to stop the recording. I thought I was recording all this time. I hope I get you guys got a picture of the queen. I don't know how I hit the record button, but I did. If you didn't see me catch her, I don't know if the, it quit recording or not. But we got one queen in here. I ain't for sure that there ain't another one in here. Like I say, I don't know when it quit recording. Get a few bees up there on top of that. I don't want no. I don't make sure I don't get a queen up there, but I'll get a few bees and put up there on top of it. Hopefully I'll start calling here in a minute. I act like there's another one still up in the tree. That's why they ain't... Oh, here's another queen right here. Okay, so that's two. I didn't say they wasn't wanting to go in the box very quick, so that was telling me that there's another queen here on the ground. We got the one on the box. We got another one here. I ain't sure we're done yet. I'll lay this one on top of the box with the other one. I only brought three queen cages out. I might have to go to the house and get more. But if you put that, just dump that in that box, only one of them queens would have survived. They would have killed the other one. Say, I ain't sure we're done yet. Now we're getting a little more attention to the box. Here's a little ball right here. This is probably another queen right here. Yep. Another queen. Get off there, girls. Get off there. Okay, now we got three queens. I'm going to let this play a minute. I'm going to go back in the house and get a couple more queen cages. We're up to three. Now I'm back. Now we get down here and look for three, a couple more clumps and see. We're probably about done. They're starting to march now before. See, they was reluctant to go in the hive while ago. That's why I knew there was more than one queen. Can you see all these bees starting to march and fill their way up there. I'm going to jump up here and spray this down one more time in the tree and get the rest of them and then I'm going to watch this pretty close down here. Ah, 
I try to get you a little closer, you can see them start marching in now. Really need that box back a little bit where I can see. They're going to more than fill this box up. They all got pollen on their legs. <coughs> There might be one more queen. Don't know yet. But if we just dumped that box and bees in that box, we'd have lost two queens. And 90% of the time when you catch, I mean, we got another ball right here. We may have another queen. Ninety percent of the time, when you catch a uh, a queen out of a swarm, it's mated. They're hardly ever virgins. They're going to load a double deep nuke box up. I'll give them one queen. I got a place for one of the others, and then I'll take it and make it take a set of box off of it and make a split out of it tomorrow. <clears throat> and usually, when they're big enough to swarm like that, people say, Oh, my bees ain't swarmed. There's still a lot of bees. We get done here in a little bit. I, I seen the box these come out of. We'll go down there and we'll look and see how many bees left in the box. A lot of times you don't even know, you know, the, the average beekeeper doesn't even know that they swarmed. Still got a lot of bees. We ain't got half the bees in the box yet. And what's amazing, these, these dudes suck up all the nectar they do before they can leave the hive, before they swarm. They pick up all that pollen and stack it on their legs. And when they go to a new nest, they will draw wax for unbelievable. Well, get another frame. Put in that box.
think I'll take these two queens here and put them in the house right now. Slide this over. Well, I seem to have lost my feather someplace. Up here by the frame box. I really hate to scrape these off the front of this box and put them in there because that, that that's usually a good place for Another queen will be, like right here, a big ball. I'll leave that queen caged and I'll look before I turn her loose and see if there's going to find another queen. It's another good thing about being caged. Set another box on it. bunch of other stuff to do. I'm about tired of messing with them. I'm going to let them do their thing. I'm going to have to take them other queens in the house because I'll never go in the, never go in their box. The main thing is just to look for little bitty clumps. And that's where the queens will be. We got all the queens out of the tree. There ain't even no bees in the tree now. Take these girls in the house. in pretty good. They got them one queen, that's all they need. Okay, enough of that. You guys have seen that before.
go down here, get in a hive that they swarmed out of and see if there's any bees left in it. I've been robbing out of this hive all along. This is the one they come out of. Let's see if there's any bees left in it. I doubt that the virgins is hatched out. I imagine they're just full queen cells. That'd be my guess. Get the smoker out. They just lost all the field force. They might not be happy. I don't know how they decide who stays and who goes. But they do. get a gander in the top of this. People say, well, my bees have never swarmed out. As you can see, there's still quite a few bees in this box. You get down in there and see what they do look like. As you'll be able to tell here shortly, I, you can tell I've been robbing brood out of this and everything else, try to just keep them in check till I had a chance to get through them. You can see these are brand new frames they're drawled out. They have full frame of brood, queen cell here, queen cell there, queen cell here. There's one, two, three. Three on that frame. In a matter of two weeks time when that hatches out, most people if they didn't catch it in swarming, they never know they never know the bees swarmed out. Actually, this has already got a virgin hatch, so she may have flew out and got mated with that bunch I just stuck in there. Try to get this on video. You see that one's already opened up the door. Virgin's already in there. There's one, two, three, on this side right here, look here, see this hive just keeps swarming, there's three on that side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Probably just split that up this box up again. Given this got plenty of frames of cells on it. Just take two frames of bees. That one just a frame of nectar. One queen cell on it. But the virgin's already hatched, and she probably flew out with that other with the regular mating swarm. More than likely. But as you can see, got a lot of frames of bees to hatch out and there's still quite a few bees in here.
see what's in the bottom. That girl flew right up my, right up my bam, stung me on the lip. That ain't good. Drones and pollen. about all it is down there too. Stung me on the lip, made my nose run. I'm sorry for the delay. They was eating me up. I told you they wouldn't be happy, just swarmed out. I took all the cells out of this box, left them two frames. Right here, there's a queen. One of the three queens we caught. Give them a queen back. Come up here. I took two frames of bees with cells and put it in this one. Two frames of bees with cells and put it in this one. Found the virgin that was hatched. Put her in this box. So we made one, two, three, four splits. I had one box and ended up with four there. We got the swarm here. We'll bust these down and probably make three more splits out of this tomorrow. You can see they're just about, just about in there. Yeah, them bees that sting you right on the lips and want to kiss you, they kind of make me swell up a little bit. But anyway, we ended up, we're going to end up with five boxes of bees out of one, which is not too bad. I come back up here to hurry these up and notice they wasn't going in the box, all of them. They're hanging on the front. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and get notified when we uh, put more videos out. Thanks for watching.